real cases before a real judge. Plaintiff Mark Morris was married to the defendant's sister, and the defendant is now married to his cousin. Mark claims he once had to save his cousin from a domestic violence dispute between her and the defendant. And he's suing because he claims the defendant stole his tax refund. Defendant Tyrone Pope denies taking Mark's money, and he believes his sister is the one who took the money and is lying about it. Tyrone is countersuing Mark for slander and emotional distress because his sister lied about him to the police. All right, tell me what's going on. Sir, um, I've known the defendant since he was about seven years old. I've been married to his sister um, for eight years, but I've been with her for the past, I mean, I've been in their family for about 17 years. And um, he's like a little brother to me. He's, you know, my little brother. I, you know, mentored him. We've always had a good relationship from a child all the way to an adult. Um, his wife, which is my cousin, who is also like my sister. We grew up since we were kids in the same house. So um, our relationship uh, turned for the worst last year, uh, probably around April time frame when they were dating. Uh, my cousin called me to uh, come pick her up for church. And once she let me in, my cousin was distraught, crying. They getting into it, things got heated. Next thing you know, they had another family member there pulled a gun on me. So they got a gun on me, things really getting heated. That's a lie, Yana. They all in my face. Yeah, you say you all on the way to church? On our way to church, Yana. That's, That's a lie, Yana. And we, we on our way to let church. Uh, we're, we, we, they all in my face, it's getting heated. The police came, we pressed charges. I believe my cousin dropped the charges. That was that, so maybe a few yeah, but they put the gun on you. She so can't <laughs> drop charges if someone puts a gun on you. Okay, uh, to be honest, I didn't even press charges for okay. him having the gun on me. It was me. her for the assault. Right, uh -huh. so um, that happened. So mm -hmm. we didn't speak no more since then, maybe about a few months later. He ended up going to jail for some other altercation. When he got out, he, that's when he Involving becomes... Involving violence? Actually, yes. So uh, that's when he gets engaged to my cousin. So I say around December of last year, we was at, I was asked to be in that wedding. So think, now, by the time it's time for their wedding to come around, now things is getting heated between uh, Latoya. Why? A, a dress issue. All right. Uh, sir, what do you want to tell me? Um, first of all, Your Honor, nobody upped a gun on him. My wife went in a drawer and grabbed my gun out and gave it to him. Then he gave it back and gave it to my little brother, which was sitting in a chair. He didn't get up or point anything. He just had it in his lap, and he walked out and said, oh, you upping a gun on me. Nothing why, was never Why up. did your wife go and get a gun and give it to him? Uh, I don't know. You never asked? No. Why I can tell you ask why. There she is you right there. Ask, yes, you can ask. Why don't you ask? Uh, go ahead. Why did you go give him my, my gun out of my drawer? Talk to him, ma'am. He's oh. asking you a question. I grabbed the gun, you know, because I was taking your stuff because you had my keys. I wasn't going to give you your right. stuff until you gave me my keys. Right. Oh, so you, she pulled the gun on you. I didn't... <laughs> she gave it, basically. Basically. Defendant Tyrone Pope is married to the plaintiff's cousin, and the plaintiff claims he once had to save his cousin from a domestic violence situation between her and Tyrone. Anything else? Yes, I knew him. You know, we were all cool before this incident started. Like I said, he's been knowing my, been married to my sister. It started from the dress because she didn't want to show my wife. She was trying to repropose at our wedding to take our shine. And that's when she wanted a long, flowy white dress with a white bow. He wanted a bedazzled tie Good with enough. sleeveless jackets. All right, let's get to the monies you're suing about and the emotional distress. Sir, um... During this whole altercation about the dress situation and the wedding, it was like January 20-something. Mm -hmm. 20. So by this time, we, I had done my taxes. Now, my, Latoya had done my, she'd been doing my taxes for the past, I don't know how many years. Is this her? Come, it's Latoya more. Go ahead. Um, was she your ex at that time? Yes. All right, you put your freedom in your ex-wife's hands. <laughs> yes. You're a good man. Go ahead. My kids live with her. Mm -hmm. So she was out of work for like a minute, for a, a year or so. So mm -hmm. obviously it was beneficial for me to file the kids. Mm -hmm. Now when I filed them, we split, we, you know, we split it. So I have where it went to my, the portion that I have was going to mine, and the other portion went to hers for the kids. Mm -hmm. So That's a lie too, Your Honor, because it went finish, to my account. Sir. So it went to, so it went to her account. account. Mm -hmm. When it went to her account, this was already, it was, we were already into it, all this uh -huh. big. So by the time it hit the account, which was his account that he got for her, I, I can explain that. We have, I, I have a voicemail. It was for her. And uh, since this altercation, he took the money because he had access to the From account. From her account? Yes. 
is so from why isn't she suing him? The, because it, it was my taxes. His name and the taxes was it's under my his taxes. Name. But my brother got a count for me in September of 2011 when I started a new job. You owed some people or something? Yeah. I was yes. Having, the IRS. I, right. I, right. I didn't owe the IRS. I filed Chapter 13. Okay. He took the money? Yes. yes. He just withdrew it? Yes. yes. All right. And <laughs> when you ask him about it, what did he say? He didn't he take it. He said he didn't take it. Okay, and you have evidence yes. that he did? Yes. All right, let's see it. And let me hear from you, sir, regarding the uh, monies in the account. Uh, first of all, Your Honor, neither the account is in my name. I got and a your statement. name for her? My, yes, my name for her. <laughs> Whatever went in there was her money. Go right, ahead. Right, yeah. All right, I, so I what got happened to her money? She took it. How? As soon as I get in the bank to pull up my account, they tell me that the uh, money was transferred to a Capital One transfer. What do you have? I have that right here. The money mm -hmm. deposited. I highlighted when it came in, the amount, 3000 How do I know whether you withdrew it or he withdrew it's it? The Did paper you paper I gave, I gave you that Capital gave One said they reversed it back on February the 6th to the same exact account for mm -hmm. $4,048. They took it out February the 4th. They reversed it February the 6th. Back to his okay, account. Okay, but that doesn't show he took it. Right. It shows it went back to the Capital One, the Chase account Count that he that had. That was in your name. That I don't have access to. Right. He closed the account. What he did was he went... The account that he had in his me. name for your purposes, yes. he closed it. He closed it. He changed the address so the statements wouldn't go to our mother's house anymore. And that way, I was unable to have access to uh -huh. withdraw my money out. Sir, did you close it? Yes. Why? Because once I seen that the money was took, I didn't want my account to overdraw. This is my name once again, Yana. Okay. Yana. Mm-hmm. If the account is closed, how can the money... And we, how can the money... I have a Chase account. That money got reversed, and you see it down there. It cannot reverse into Never Never Land. Okay. Let me uh, go and look for the And she um, still have the money. The it never yeah. came back. We'll adjourn for a minute. So, Terrell. Don't say, what is you Ready even? Don't pay no, no mind. Ready Ready pull the gun on me. Nobody I'm pulled a gun brother. on you. I, you I are my brother. Defense. Nobody Why pulled a gun like on a you. Lame, you know that's you know a lie, Mark. You no, Why I didn't even, it? you know exactly what happened to the gun. Yeah. I sat the gun on the couch. Like, nobody nobody pulled a gun on you. It's not like the distressed, I've been beat, oh my God. Yes, oh my God. He got guns and drugs in his house, and I sell major amounts of weed, and oh my God, right. You say you need 500 for your rent, though. Miss, Miss Big, you did, I don't steal. You yeah, you didn't want to steal my tax money I last year. I, I don't got nothing to say to you either. Hey, absolutely correct. you don't love me. I don't have to deal with you this, but God, me. you do. Just tell the truth. I, I, I'm Ain't nobody so up no gun. Like Come I on, man. You what am I up a gun it. on him for? Nobody. Right, but you. He's sitting up here lying. Up the gun like we finna him. Why you up the gun on nobody? Me and my brother here, we need a gun for you. Can't do nothing without it. Yeah, you saying I don't need it. You didn't see me at the bob shop too legit? many times. Talking Are you even you didn't legal? See me with... Like, finish uh, your case. Well, you you always you see asking right. him to bring it to your car game, so right. why is this such a problem? Right. Yes, you right. have. Okay. Yeah. When, 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 when we come right. to your car games, because don't you, you always ask him, do he have it? Don't you ask him, do he have it? Don't you ask him, do he bring it? Be seated. This court is back in session. Defendant Tyrone Pope is married to the plaintiff's cousin. And the plaintiff claims he once had to save his cousin from a domestic violence situation between her and Tyrone. Stay seated. This court is back in session. Okay, you all are going to read to me um, the transactional history or whatever document it is you believe will convince me that he stole the money. Right here shows where the ACH deposit transaction on February 2nd came... Let me see the paper. Show me what you're reading from. Right here, February 2nd. That's the, the first second. one. All right. That's and so then... on, hold on. Oh, I'm sorry. On, I'm seeing something that says February 2nd, mm -hmm. ACH deposit. Right. Which she means... Transferred. She transferred, yes, transferred it online. It was an online transfer. That's February 2nd. Mm -hmm. Yes, it came transferred from Chase. Transferred it from Chase. that account. To Capital One. From Chase uh -huh. to Capital One, which uh -huh. is our joint account. Go ahead. Now, on February the 6th, a reverse ACH deposit, Latoya Morris, $4,048, back reverse to the same account. Back to the same account. Reverse. You can't reverse it. To, it. When it get reversed, it goes back to the original account. It's down account. at the bottom. Your Honor, it's the third transaction reverse. from the bottom. She yes. made that up. On February 6th. Yes. And this is a Capital One document well, from one Capital One. says it because it was bounced. 
Right. Because he reported it as fraud. Because it was already it took. Fraud. When I went in the bank and the bank told me that my money was gone, that mm -hmm. means it was already took. Because Capital One took it. If you look on this paper, it. Capital One transfer, February 2nd, she told me it was took. When I got home, mind you, my wife worked for the bank for 10 years. I asked and her exactly what other happened. Other I, activity. I asked her exactly what happened. It's been transferred. But what the money do you been believe took happened twice. to their money? She took it. Like she took my income tax a year and a half ago, but I didn't bring it to this because I called her once I called the IRS. Yana, she gave me a packet with all numbers not even mm -hmm. matching my refund. I call the yeah. IRS, they give me the right refund. She brings the money the next mm -hmm. day. No excuse. I didn't my bring uncle, anything. you didn't bring the money up Sir, north, two hundred and thirty dollars. The reversal is right here. The oh reversal is right here. Where did that money go? It went to his account. She, she, she good with that. Yeah. Actually, where she got fired from. That she good with making money papers. was withdrawn. You cannot close account oh if it's over there. You still no. stealing money from a you, Chicago public school. You're saying that it was reversed to... Yeah, it was reversed right. back right. to right. the original... Right. 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 It was reversed right. back to the original Capital One account. No. He can take Capital One. Chase. Tell me what happened with Chase, because on this document that you handed me, all I see is Capital One. He changed his statement. We can change the statement. How much is the statement? I have it to statement. Capital One's program. But you said he reversed it back to Chase. Because he went to Chase and reported Show the transfer. Show me where he reversed it to Chase. I have Chase. it here. It's here, Your Honor. I keep no, seeing Capital One. Exactly. Maybe I'm missing something. Okay, Circle something on that yeah, yeah. document that here. says Chase. Circle Chase. Circle it where it says well, Chase. Well, another Chase. bank document is not Circle it where it says Chase. You said it said it. You handed it right. up and said, yeah, honey, it yeah. does. Try making it, a fool no, out of me. Yana, Show me where it says Chase. Yana, we, we does it say Chase? It's not going to say Chase. You just Yana. told me it would. Okay. You said it says it right here. No, I don't know what I'm saying You is... showed me that document, which is the same one I have, and you said it, it would the, say Chase. chase? The, the blue, these here. The thing is, Yana, we can't... We don't have any more Chase documents because when this went down, he changed everything. He changed the address so that I would get the So we wouldn't get the statement. It never came to Didn't you period. have access to it, ma'am? Yes, I How did. How do I know you didn't take it out exactly. like he yeah. said? Exactly. He closed That's it. He's it admitting that he's closed it. Oh, I have a recording. He would close but it we if have nothing in it. We have the recording, recording that's that saying that, 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 he, that he... How much money what? that went into this bank account that he had that was my that money. That he took it. And that he... No. Yes, and that he took it. Hold on. The recording will indicate that he took it. Because that's what you just said. No, it's not going to take the gate that he took. Defendant Tyrone Pope is married to the plaintiff's cousin, and the plaintiff claims he once had to save his cousin from a domestic violence situation between her and Tyrone. You just right. told me the recording no. would indicate that he took it. it I said, I just it. like you money. just told me the documents you were giving me would show that the money was reversed back to Chase. Before the income tax had de was deposited into Chase account, Tyrone had already took me off the account. You have I evidence had... of that, ma'am? Yes, I do. I have the last transaction. I have the recording that Sir, he says... Sir, you take... You she took... never was on it. That's correct, ma'am. That's the reason you had to get it in right, his he name. Had, he now, gave me a what? debit card. But to you say he took it. You took it off. He didn't take it out of my name. He, he gave You just he said he took me off. Okay. Did you say he took me off? You haven't sir. proved your case. I'm sorry. You all have confused this and you haven't been able to prove anything you're saying. You've contradicted yourself. One, regarding the money being transferred back to Chase. You told me that the documents you gave me showed that. Then you told me uh, the recording I would listen to would also tell me that. Then your last statement was, well, I got something that shows he took my name off. Exactly. He says, Yana, her name was never on it. And he's right. Your name was never on it. You've contradicted yourselves three times. If you're right, you just haven't proved it. I'm sorry. Uh, your claim is dismissed. What is your slander and emotional distress for? Your Honor, I'm, I got pulled over in my neighborhood numerous of times, never about this situation. It's always telling me my sister all oh, got guns in the house. I sell drugs. My mom is on the voicemail. They just left the house. They looking for you. They just say, turn yourself in. He's telling my wife when he catch me. Who said turn yourself in? Uh, my mom. She's, you know, she practiced my mom up to, and my mom came and told me it was a lie, that she just did it for her to just see well, if I sue your it. mother. Your claim is dismissed and so is yours. Have a good day. Yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad married, your name oh, wasn't on that account. that's why he married me. Come on, man. Whatever. And we're going to continue right, to be like happily really quit married. A you, guys, you guys are so happy like you, to be happily like you married. Like really quit a 20-hour job to make six fifty every two weeks. Yeah. You a next? district manager. Well, that's you, you got caught stealing. I make 60 dollars It came in my account. It came in my account. Like you say, I got the account. Like you, you say, used to be my account. employee. Now you unemployed because you're going to go to jail. I don't jail. I got my own 
won't be in it's this It's already been solved. Judge Matthew, it's a real judge. This is real. This is real. I'm cool. Absolutely What about finding your house? You got to move. What about finding you somewhere to stay? I'm fine. Come on, baby. We'll go to jail. And she will be sitting at home crying. All right.